Hi, I'm Snow White. Look at my Snow White skin. Look at my ebony black hair. Look at my blood red lips. I'm Snow White. Hi, Snow White. Hi. Do you want to eat an apple? Okay, sure. Wait, is it free? Yeah. Is it poison? No. No, look at me. I'm such an innocent girl. Prove you want it. to eat this now? No, okay, I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Okay, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Okay, now that I'm going to eat the apple. Eat it now, eat it now. Wait, I want to Instagram it so I can show oh, all my friends. Instagram Come, let's Instagram the apple. Where is the apple? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, nice angle, nice angle. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Oh, Wait, let me choose a filter first, okay. Oh no, the, the apple turned brown. I don't want to eat it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Although the queen's plan seemed perfect, she forgot to take into account a process called enzymatic browning. Enzymatic browning occurs when plant tissue is exposed to air, resulting in a brown colored pigment, melanin, being formed. Phenolases, which are enzymes found outside the cell wall, come in contact with colorless phenols which are found inside the cell, causing the brown color to appear. This process involves concepts of redox, phenol reaction, and enzyme kinetics. Enzymatic browning is commonly caused by processes that release enzymes from the skin tissues of fruits and vegetables, such as peeling, cutting, bruising, or natural deterioration. Additionally, the use of copper or iron pots and pans increased exposure to air and humid conditions further quickened the process. Phenols are compounds in which an OH group is attached directly to a benzene ring. Today's molecule of interest is the catechol. As the flesh of fruits are exposed to oxygen, polyphenol oxidase enzyme present in chloroplasts rapidly oxidizes phenolic chemicals to produce o -quinones. As seen from the equation, the addition of oxygen to a catechol molecule results in the elimination of a water molecule as two hydrogen atoms are removed from catechol to form opinone. Opinones then polymerize to form melanin. This is a simplified version of the actual reactions that take place during the formation of melanin. Monophenols are oxidized to form diphenols, which undergo a condensation reaction forming oquinones. These in turn polymerize into melanin. The melanin formed in enzymatic browning is a brown pigment. This is because it absorbs certain wavelengths of light, like blue, green or red, and reflects other wavelengths, appearing an overall brown colour. Thus, when the apple was left unattended for 15 minutes, its phenolic group oxidized to form melanin, turning it brown. Let us move on to the prevention of enzymatic browning so the wicked queen can successfully get Snow White to eat the poisoned apple. Polyphenol oxidase can be denatured by some organic acids such as citric acid. It is a chelating agent that inhibits enzyme PDO by reducing the copper ions that are necessary cofactors for the enzyme to catalyze the formation of brown pigment. This is because covalent bonding between the enzyme structure and cofactor is weakened, causing the active site of PPO to be damaged. Besides, citric acid lowers pH, denaturing PPO. Without active PPO enzymes, oxidation of phenolic compounds in the fruit is disrupted and the browning is prevented. Uh, Snow White is gonna eat this. <laughs> hmm, the apple looks normal. Let me go and enjoy it now. Enzymatic browning can also be prevented by ascorbic acid or acetic acid. Enzymatic browning serves both advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantage includes making the food look unappealing, softening it, causing it to lose flavour, and it can also severely limit the shelf life of the product, thus decreasing its value. 
Some foods can benefit from enzymatic browning. Foods that have a more desirable flavour or colour as a result of enzymatic browning include cocoa, tea, coffee, raisins and prunes.